I don't even know how to start this video, like I don't know what to even begin with apart from hi if you've read the title. Don't know what I'm telling this video yet. <laughs> I'm just gonna, I'm gonna cut the bullshit, I'm gonna cut the shit, I'm gonna just tell it, I'm gonna just say it. The words are gonna leave my mouth and those words are, I have a clothing line. Now what? Now what do I say next? <laughs> I've sort of been teasing for a while that I have been working on something and I've had something in the pipeline and something's been going off. But yes, I have a clothing line. It's a collab with the brand New In. I, in this video, I'm just going to talk you through everything, talk you through the collaboration, how it all worked. I'll tell you a little bit about New In, show you the pieces, try them all on for you, and just let you share my excitement. Even if you're not interested in buying anything, please just watch this because I feel like I, I feel like this is my baby. I feel like I've worked on this with the team at New In for. In fact, it's literally been nearly a year now since this entire thing started. It's probably been over a year since this entire thing started. Before we jump any further into this video, I want to talk a little bit about the brand. Now, I have worked with Nguyen a lot in the past. If you follow me on Instagram, oh my god, this self bro over my Instagram. If you follow my Instagram, uh, but no, I've actually worked with Nguyen a couple of times over on my Instagram. I literally wear the same pair of jeans from Nguyen every single day. Like, they're literally the most perfect jeans or were the most perfect jeans until I got my hands in the mix like, just all I made a mine and then like, you know, put my little spin on it and now I have the most perfect pair of jeans. So I'm gonna read this off my phone because I really don't wanna get it wrong and I feel like it's a message that I wanna get across in this video and I wanna get across right. And I know if I like tried to like read it and tell you it, I just feel like it'd just be shit. I'd be reading it like, new in is a sustainable. <coughs> Are you ready for this? This is gonna be very, very poetic. Founded in 2019 by a small group of friends who have worked in the fashion industry for a combined duration of 50 years plus. Nguyen grew from a desire to create a sustainable clothing brand, both fashion forward and affordable. Nguyen is born out of necessity and with responsibility to protect the planet and its inhabitants. Having the lowest possible impact on the environment underpins every decision made. It's a simply a given. I literally remember sitting in the first meeting with Marcus and him showing me like a full on PowerPoint presentation about the fashion industry and how much water is used per cotton t-shirt and how much waste is in landfills. I literally remember leaving the meeting and being like, wow. We really need to sort it out. It says we've designed every part of our business around sustainability to show the fashion industry that it can be done. You can produce collections that people love using recycled and organic materials. Part of our belief is that it shouldn't cost the earth to save the earth. We want to show the world that affordable fashion and sustainability can coexist. And if we only convince one person or one brand to think more about the impact on fashion on the environment has on the environment, it will have all been worth it. I went into the meeting with the new team. I'm like, right, I want to make the most perfect pair of denim jeans that I can wear literally whenever, with whatever. My only concern is they need to sit nice on a shoe. And I feel like I did that. And I feel like I did that with all the pairs of trousers that I've got. So <laughs> let's start off with, I don't know. I don't want to say these are my favorite pair. However, I feel like I've worn these the most. Also, it says my fucking name in the tag. Like it literally says Byron Denton in all the tags. <laughs> Oh my god, and this and the tag that it comes on as well says my name. Just want to point that out. These are just some relaxed fit tapered trousers. Now, as you can see, they are plain black. I absolutely love these. They're covered in bits. They're covered in bits on my sofa. They're covered in lint because I have worn these so much. I actually need to put them in the wash. I need to put these in the wash, but I don't want to part with them. Moving on to some other. In fact, we're going to spice it up. We're going to add a little green pair in. We have those trousers in green. They're slightly a different fit and a slightly different material. They are in like a khaki green color. I were wearing these so much on Instagram. Instagram at one point and no one even knew and I was getting so many questions on where my trousers were from and I had to be like ah, shush shush hush hush all the trousers I'm gonna say about every single one the way that they fit like yes they are just plain plain trousers literally staple pieces of your wardrobe could go with absolutely anything but I cannot tell you how great the fit is I feel like my collection is very plain very minimalistic I'm more focused on how things fit and the materials and these again fit literally like a glove and sag on my train knot and I absolutely fucking love them I feel like these jeans are a staple in the collection I feel like these jeans tie everything together again they fit incredibly these are some denim jeans I love these so so much I literally am obsessed with them I think the details on the back pockets as you can see they're like a deconstructed pocket at the back with a little butterfly print. I just absolutely love these. I think these are so, so cool. The fit of them, 
immaculate, incredible. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. All right, so moving on to jumpers next. I literally have complained so many times in vlogs, in Hazard's ear, in my own head. I've literally said so many times, I have the biggest head in the world and it doesn't actually fit in any hoodies. I feel like people are gonna be able to relate to me on this. I literally cannot buy a hoodie and expect to be able to wear it as a hoodie. Like, I can't expect to go into a store, buy a hoodie and then just comfortably put the hood up without looking like ET. So the hood is massive, it fits my head. You will literally have no problem whatsoever with this hood being too small. I chose to not go for a drawstring. I feel like a lot of higher end brands don't actually put drawstrings in the jumpers right now. It's also a super boxy fit, like it's slightly cropped. I've been wearing a, a jacket lately, a Carhartt jacket, and the fit of the jacket is literally incredible. And I feel like this jumper fits exactly like that. In fact, I wear this jumper under that jacket so often. You think it's just a plain black hoodie? But Bam, you really can't even see it. Where's the light reflecting of it? Oh, the staple butterfly that's throughout the entire collection along the back. I love that. I'm actually going to put that on after I film. So I'll put it this side. This side doesn't go in the wash basket like the rest of it. Next up, I've actually got a crew neck jumper. So this one obviously doesn't have a hood. In camera, it looks really white. However, these two pieces are like a creamy off white color. I don't know if you can tell by the difference of the wall or the plant pot to my jumper. It's like an off white. I basically have a crew neck with a little butterfly on the bottom. Again, boxy fit, super drop shoulder. This and the t-shirt are the softest material ever. I know I can't tell you what this feels like through a camera. However, if you do buy anything, and if you do buy this or the t-shirt, please come back to this video once you have received your order. I'm begging, please come back to this video and just tell me, or just agree with me, or even disagree, that this jumper and this t-shirt are the softest material literally in the world. Like. I cannot get over, especially this jumper, how soft this is. Again, it's all sustainable. Oh my God, it literally has a hair in it what looks like a pube. I've been wearing this way too much. <laughs> but yeah, again, keeping it super simple, super clean. Just a little butterfly on the bottom at the front there. Obviously ties the full collection together. Very nice, very nice indeed. And then I also have this t-shirt. I feel like everything I've complained about in clothes that I order online from like your everyday stores, I fixed my issues. I always complain about one, the length of my jeans not sitting on my shoe right, the width of the hood not being big enough for my fucking massive head, and also the necks on t-shirts not being sturdy enough and sagging down and like sagging over your collarbones. I wanted to make sure I had a really structured neck on my t-shirt so it was really nice and fitted, but then I also wanted the t-shirt to be oversized. I think my issue with necks is I like my t-shirts oversized so then I size up which then makes the neck wider, which is just not for me, really not for me, not a fan. So with this, obviously got the really structured neck again, it doesn't sag, it sits perfectly around your neck, but it also is super oversized, as you can see. Drop shoulder again, and then on the back, it has this lovely little butterfly print to tie it all in, the same butterfly that's on the hoodie and the same butterfly that is on the jeans, and the same butterfly that is on the shirt. So I designed this shirt, which again is super oversized. So you've got two big oversized like cargo looking pockets on the front of the shirt. And then it is super long, as you can see. On the side, it has the same signature butterfly print that runs throughout the entire collection. It sort of like sits slightly at the front and then slightly at the back. So from both the front and the back, if you stood facing someone or someone walks past you, they can see it on both sides. I think the placement of this is really, really cool. Again, we were playing around with this a lot and just ended up going with it. This one. I feel like this is a very versatile piece. You could literally wear this as an actual shirt. You could then wear it as like a jacket shirt. But also if you do want to wear it as a dress, you could wear this as a dress. Do you know what I mean? And that is literally everything in the collection. I want to stop rambling. I feel like I've honestly rambled and could talk about this for absolute years. I am so unbelievably excited. I'm nervous. I'm scared. Hopefully you guys like it as much as I do. I absolutely love it. I honestly have been working on this for the longest time. I really, really want to do more stuff like this. I think this has given me like a, a light under my bum to be like, Byron, you want to work in fashion. This is what you want to do. I absolutely love every aspect of it. I love the team that I worked with. I also just want to say a massive, massive thank you to Marcus for giving me the opportunity to do this and considering me as someone who could do this it means the absolute world if you do end up going over and buying something please please tag me or send me a message i want to reply to people i want to share them on my story i just want to yeah i want the reassurance that people actually like it and just give me your feedback please just let me know what you think again i just want to say a massive thank you to everyone that has supported me over the years and just always fucks with my shit it means the absolute world and i get to do cool stuff like this so i'm feeling very grateful <sighs> and it's gonna make me emotional, so I'm gonna stop talking. Don't wanna cringe myself out. I love you all so, so much. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you very, very soon with back on my bullshit, back to my normal bullshit, but I just was too excited to not share this with you. So I hope you like it. I love it. I'm gonna put my jumper on now and sit on the sofa and eat 
McDonald's. I'm gonna have a cel celebratory McDonald's actually, that's what I'm gonna do. Anyway, bye. <laughs>